Okay, in this video we're going to continue with some of the drilling commands, introduce a new one, and also introduce some of the editing commands from the toolbars here at the top of the screen. So let's, um, let's, let's in this example, let's start programming a base end panel for a, a typical cabinet base end. And let's, uh, we've been working with inch dimensions, let's switch over to metric now. And so we'll go to our piece parameters, and let's go with a length of 915. Uh, a height of uh, 610 and a thickness of 19 and then remembering to change our units to millimeters all right so we've got our new panel dimensions and let's um, if you can imagine a base end this is uh, 915 is about three feet so we've got our base end turned on its front edge and, and this is actually the the width of the depth of the of the of the end panel so um, let's go and let's put um, let's put drilling for a front rail uh, and drilling for a back rail, and then we'll also add in some um, adjustable shelf holes. We'll do all that in this video. So let's start off with um, a single hole um, for um, a single drill hole for dowels for um, for a front rail. So let's go over to our drill command, go to a single hole, and let's put the first hole at uh, nine and a half millimeters off the left edge. Uh, let's go with 12 millimeters off the front and let's go with uh, 12 millimeters deep again that's a negative into the depth into the uh, face of the panel and we'll go with an 8 millimeter hole all right so if we have a rail here then we want another hole that's 64 millimeters away from it. and it's that's 64 of course being a multiple of 32 we want the machine to be able to drill both of these holes simultaneously so provided we have drills on 64 millimeter centers then um, simply programming these 64 millimeters away is, is sufficient for the machine to automatically drill both of those simultaneously uh, provided that their those drills are in the head on those centers so let's go to um, the repeat command that's here at the top of the screen and when we go to repeat um, then it's, going, it's asking us for uh, delta X, Y, and Z, or what's the change in the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the hole that we have selected. So if I want to move this hole up 64 millimeters, well, the change in X and Z is nothing, so I'll leave those blank. I'll simply come to the Y and say I want a hole 64 millimeters away. And this number is uh, the number of repeats, so um, if I leave this at 1, then I'll end up with a second hole and that's automatically 64 millimeters away from the first hole that we programmed. Our first hole was 12 in the Y direction. Our second hole is 76. So that gets us our, our 64 millimeter centers. And again, that's all that's necessary for the machine to automatically drill those holes together, provided we have the drill head set up with two drills on 64 millimeter centers and the Y axis. So let's take and let's say we want another rail here at the back of the, of the uh, end panel. So let's take and hold the control key down, I select both of these holes, and let's go back to our symmetry command that we, um, that we looked at in previous videos. So we go to the symmetry command, and our mirror uh, comes up with height of face divided by two, and let's just keep that there. And we're gonna duplicate these, so we now have a second set of holes. And so this hole, the first hole here is 12 millimeters off the back, same way that this hole is 12 millimeters off the front. So these, this set of holes is symmetrical uh, to these first two set of holes. But let's say that we need to move these forward so that we could have a um, put in a back with a groove or something. So let's take these two holes, and I want to move them forward 20 millimeters. I want to move them toward the front of the, the end panel. So we select them both. And this time we'll go to the drag command. And drag presents us with um, some parameters to enter. And in our X and Y, if you notice, they're in the same bounding rectangle. And they come up with a default um, checkbox for relative. And relative is just simply means that um, how far do we want to move these based on where they are. Uh, it's not an absolute coordinate. Um, and we typically don't know the relative, the absolute coordinate. Um, after we've moved them to the top of the panel, and this may be parametric, so um, we just want to move them 20 millimeters from where they are. So that's real easy. We just come into the Y coordinate, 
give it a negative 20 and that moves it forward this is in, in our coordinate system negative is toward the is uh, toward the origin so a negative 20 moves it in that direction so both of those holes were just moved 20 millimeters from the back edge so that shows you your drag command and also the repeat command and a, and a review of also the symmetry command let's look now at a new drill command for repeat drilling and let's come over here to our uh, drill commands and we're going to come over here to repeat an X and it comes up and it gives we've got a new uh, some new parameters to enter we've got XI and XF I and F stand for initial and final so we're going to give it the initial hole in X and the final hole in X and then based on a step or distance between the drills it'll fill in automatically uh, whatever is in whatever is in between the, the initial and final hole so let's put our initial hole in X, let's put it at um, 150 millimeters from the left, uh, 37 off the front edge. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we'll put our Y value as 37. Our X final hole, uh, we, let's let that be, um, let's let that be about 10 inches from the bottom or 250 millimeters. So let's put that as length minus 250. So our X final, we're going to use parametric uh, value of length minus 250. Then our line of holes will be 37 off the front edge. Uh, the holes will be 12 millimeters deep. And the step, we can leave it at 32. Uh, your step can be anything. If, if you want it to be uh, 64 millimeters uh, centers, then you, you can do that. And the machine would automatically gain drill as many as possible. You could even go with one inch centers if you wanted to. However, the machine would drill those one at a time because there are no drills on one inch centers. But let's just keep it at 32. And let's go with a five millimeter drill. And when we, when we hit OK, then we now get our line of drills with our first hole at, um, will, will be exactly at 150. And our last hole, because we're, we have a step of 32, it will be as close to length of the panel minus 250 as it can be without going over. So because we're, we're, we're putting the holes here on 32 millimeter centers, this last hole may or may not be, probably will not be exactly length minus 250, um, but it will not be any closer than length minus 250. Um, now if we wanted to take this set of holes and, and we wanted to use the symmetry command, and put a second set of holes at the back. We can just go to the symmetry command and repeat it. Now those are 37 off the back edge. Uh, that may be too close to the back. Um, we could go back to the drag command and we could move them forward um, to the front of the front of the panel by say 75 millimeters and move them forward like that. Uh, we could also use the repeat command. Let's look at the difference um, and how that would work if we did that let's undo and undo again and get rid of that second set of holes and let's use instead of uh, the symmetry command let's use the, um, the the repeat command if we repeated it then our delta y let's say we wanted um, we might want to set distance between uh, the first set of holes in the back for example we may want to use some hardware uh, that attaches to these two holes and let's say that the the distance between um, the, the two set of holes might be 412 millimeters. So we'll give it a delta Y of 412. And now this set of holes is exactly 412 millimeters from that set. But it's also, this Y value is not parametric. And, and that may be important in this case if we're using hardware uh, that we want to attach uh, to these two set of holes, then we don't want this to be parametric. If we changed our, um, our depth of the cabinet somewhat let's say we had to have a, a depth that was a little a little shallower let's say it had to be 580 then we wouldn't want that set of holes to move we want to be able to use the same drawer runner so um, using the um, this repeat command with a fixed value of 420 uh, or 412 excuse me then is not parametric so you know, sometimes you want to use parametric sometimes you don't so um, just uh, remember you can you can uh, control that by use by the type of command that you use with the symmetry command that was parametric so we could mirror this set of holes to the back 
and that set of holes would, would float as we change the, uh, the width of the cabinet. And if you don't want it to be parametric, then just use the repeat command and use a fixed value for the distance between.